Oh, this is different. Thank goodness for the breeze. I'm sweating. Tight squeeze. Today I'm checking out the Rhythm and Blues Trail at Quail Creek State Park, just outside of Leeds, Utah. I've heard this is a mentally taxing trail. Not real long and not technically that hard, but Tons of quick turns and ups and downs. So I'm out here practicing a little bit because later this coming week, I'm planning on riding Hurricane Rim, which is going to take some skills that I haven't used in a while. And it's super windy today, so I don't know if I'll be able to use much of the audio. This is different. Whew. Lindsay and I were supposed to be hiking the Narrows this morning, but a big cold front moved in last night. Dropped the temperatures like 15 degrees, and it's supposed to warm back up next weekend. So instead, I came out here. Get a little practice in and I think we're going to do Angel's Landing later today. Whoa! Well, so far this trail is everything they said it would be. It's making me think. Lots of turns, diesel beats, lots of ups and downs. I'm definitely out of practice, I can tell you that. But this is fun. Oh, this will be a good warm-up for Angel's Landing later today. My legs are already a little worn out this morning. We did a seven-mile hike up to Eagle Crags, which is just on the opposite side of the canyon for Zion National Park. It wasn't a super hard hike. It was like seven miles. So a little bit of a challenge. This is an interesting trail system, definitely. Never rode anything quite like it. The very beginning of this did not start out well. Ended up walking the first few little sections. They were quite challenging. I think it's just because I was cold too. Hadn't even pedaled yet. Man, there's so many alternate lines out here. Got some dark clouds up above us. Which is part of the reason why we're not doing the narrows today. You don't need to be caught in there during a flash flood. Oh, I got it. Yes. How out of practice I am from the surgery. Used to be able to take corners like that, like no big deal. Whew. Steep little entrance there. Wow. Oh. Way too low to gear. Got 
it, got it, got it. Yes. For such a small area, you have so many turns and so many ups and downs. Very cool. Breeze feels good. Ow, that's loose. Holy cow. This trail's called Rhythm and Blues, and somebody made a funny post that said, if you don't find your rhythm, you'll definitely find the blues. Oh, and I can see why. Man. Oh, nice view up here. Wow. That's yeah, super nice up here. Little flowy section. I'd love to see where it goes. Ooh, a little exposure here. I hope this didn't take me onto the black trail. So there's a lower section of rhythm and blues and rock and roll. And then the upper section, which is the black trail. Oh no, okay, this is good. I see the black trail up ahead. Lindsay's all super nervous about doing Angel's Landing today. She said she hasn't had enough time to mentally prepare. <laughs> I keep telling her there's just that one little section that's going to be bad. Everything else can't be much worse than stuff we normally hike. Oh, I'm out of shape. Well, oh, we've been super busy for the last like seven days straight. Been out doing some kind of big physical activity every day. <clears throat> and I was telling Lindsay, my injured leg, yesterday when we did that seven mile hike, by the end of the hike, my good leg felt fine. My injured leg felt like I had walked 30 miles. Just muscles aren't quite there yet. Still got some rebuilding to do. Oh boy. Ah. Oh. Bird traction. Holy cow. That's steep. Whew. Oh, made it. Holy cow. 
Holy Okay, go, go, go. Sweet. Ah, success. Ah, oh, chicken out. When we did our mountain bike tour in Moab, the instructor told us one very important thing. He said, don't ever restart in a hard area if you stopped. So that's how everyone gets hurt. Attempting to restart where you don't have much time to prep is just a recipe for disaster. I feel like this is not the blue trail. I think this is the black trail. Thank goodness for the breeze. I'm sweating. exactly what I did. Caught the edge of that little rock right there. Sorry, I went over. At least it didn't hurt. It doesn't look like it hurt the bike. Just my pride. I shouldn't have been dumb. I should have worn my elbow pads. Got a little scrape on my elbow now. Luckily nothing too bad. Drive train seems okay. Just got my front wheel off a little bit. That's all it took. Holy hell. Nope. Okay, this isn't the blue trail. Yeah, right up that little rock, onto the big rock. Yeah. It's probably easier than it looks. I'm gonna head back down towards what I know is the blue trail. This is definitely stepping up. I'm not feeling comfortable with it. This kind of stuff is good. Okay, well, that explains a lot. I am on the black trail. That's why this feels so much harder. So I'm gonna see if I can find a shortcut back down to the blue trail. But I gotta go back the way that I came. Ooh. All right, we're gonna cut back down. Get on the freaking blue trail. Yes. There we go. Comfort. So I've heard that if you ride the correct route, this trail's only like two miles long on trail forks. But in reality, because of all these little turns that GPS can't pick up, it's closer to five. kind of crazy there's also a lakeside trail if I have time I might do but I gotta pay attention to the clock today so gotta head out to Zion and don't want to ever do it Angel's Landing is like a five and a half mile hike
save that one. Oh, this is where I started. This is crazy. I have the room for my handlebars. And back we are. Okay. Time check. Alright. Just entered the lakeside trail. I'm gonna try to knock this one out quick. I think it's about as difficult as the last one. You're supposed to be able to ride it pretty quick. It's not quite 11.30 yet. Should have enough time. strength. I'm going to go up here and turn around. I don't want to overdo it for my legs today. Well, hope you enjoyed this video and my crash. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it. And if you haven't done so yet, subscribe so you can see more. I'm going to finish this out and we'll catch you on the next one. One last look around. Beautiful here.